Hi guys, how's going? This is the Kitchen Fairy with another recipe vlog. And for today's recipe, it is a very good uh, chocolate cookie recipe. It is very scrumptious. I love it so much. You don't need any add-ons, no nuts, no chocolate chips, no other candy so whatsoever. Um, as is, is pretty good um, themselves. Um, but obviously, you can um, have other add-ons. I mean, add-ons like chocolate chips and nuts. Um, I will show you how I added some nuts, not really added nuts into the dough, but rather putting it on top as a topping or just as a decoration. But again, um, this cookie recipe is good as is, but obviously you can add add-ons if you have little kids, they normally like chocolate chips, m and and nuts. Uh, so check out the full video and I'll see you soon again. Bye! The dry ingredients, this is one cup of enriched flour with four tablespoons, heaping tablespoon of cocoa powder, um, one teaspoon of baking powder, generous pinch of fine sea salt, and we also gonna add a pinch of nutmeg, nutmeg powder. I'll just mix it. This is a very, very simple chocolate cookies. Instead nutmeg, you can use um orange peel grated orange peel but this is with nutmeg so we can call it chocolate spice cookies now this is half cup of unsalted butter with half cup of sugar we're just gonna cream it now beat in one yolk until just combine we're gonna mix in our dry ingredients you just mix it with your spatula. Now add in your egg white and mix with your electric mixer, mixer once again. Now scoop with ice cream scooper and press it tightly and then drop it to your baking pan. Bake on preheated 350 Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. You can bake it as is, like the one in the oven, but alternately you can push a walnut pieces in the center. Like so. This is just alternate, alternative. You can bake it as is without the walnut, or you can press some walnuts before baking. Cool it on the baking pan, baking pan for two minutes, and move the cookies onto cooling rack. 